All right, so this video is inspired in part by Derek DeCurry, a.k.a. Gematronator. He made a video recently about the death of physicist Peter Higgs. For those unaware, Peter Higgs died on the date of this recent Great American Total Solar Eclipse. Derek connected this to Pi and to Stephen Hawking and Albert Einstein. I'll be making a few similar connections as well as some of my own. I'll leave a link in the description box for Derek's video and for one I did earlier in the week about Higgs. So before I get into numbers of pi, I think it's important to bring up the number 108. If you do an internet search, an image search for moon, earth, sun, and 108, click images, you're going to see something similar to what you see on the screen now. There's many different versions of this diagram, but they all say pretty much the same thing. They're measuring estimated diameters of our moon, the earth and the sun, and measuring from the moon to the earth and the earth to the sun. It's said that from our moon to the earth is roughly 108 moons. From earth to the sun is roughly 108 suns, and the diameter of the sun is roughly 108 earths. So you see this 108 connection with our moon, the sun, and the earth. Higgs died on the date of this great American total solar eclipse everybody's been on about. And in this eclipse, we have this alignment of our moon, the earth, and the sun. And then the number 108 connects these three men, Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and Galileo. Albert Einstein died on April 18th, which is typically the 108th day of the year. Galileo died on January 8th, the date which can appear as 108. Stephen Hawking was born on the date 108, January 8th. I'll leave another link. I, I've pointed this out a few times that the FM radio dial ends at 108. And that's significant because if you break down the word radio, actually look into what the word radio actually means, but then you break it down into Ra and Dio. Ra is a sun god and the word Dio is Italian for God. So Ra Dio, the radio dial, the FM radio dial, ends at 108. And Lambda made this great video. This is something I've noticed as well. That if you take the word God and use all four base ciphers, ordinal, reverse ordinal, full reduction, and reverse full reduction, add up the totals, and you get 108 for the name God. So, recap before we get to Pi. Albert Einstein died on the 108th day of the year. Galileo died on January 8th, 108. Hawking was born on January 8th, 108. 108 connects the sun, the moon, and the earth. And Higgs died on this great American total solar eclipse in alignment of our moon, sun, and earth. Hawking died on Pi Day, which is March 14th, and Albert Einstein was born on Pi Day, March 14th. Most people know this, but for those who don't, the reason it's Pi Day, it's March 14th, which can appear as 314, and Pi, abbreviate, is 3.14. So, from the death of Peter Higgs... April 8th, 2024. Going forward, a span of 314 days brings us to February 15th, which is the anniversary of Galileo's birthday. Now we'll measure from Peter Higgs' date of birth, May 29th, 1929. Going backwards, three months, 14 days brings us to February 15th. Again, that is Galileo birthday. 
Notice from Peter Higgs, date of birth, May 29th, 1929. Going forwards 314 days brings you to April 8th. And he would eventually die on April 8th. Derek Takori did made a similar point. Pretty much said the same exact thing. Typically that's 314 days later. It doesn't work for this year because it's leap year, I guess. But every other year... That works. From his birthday until April 8th. 314 days. Derek, I hope you're watching. I know you said if this is something that can be done, but I hope that I really hope that this is another reason to include the composite numbers connections at your website, Germatronator.com. The 314th composite number is 392. If we measure from Pi Day last year until Peter Higgs' date of birth this year, it's a span of 392 days. As I said, I will continue to show these composite numbers connections, but it's kind of ugly on the screen. I'm just showing a bunch of tiny numbers. It would be great to just go to the website and just click on a number and say, oh, 392, it's the 314th composite number. So you can take a look at the screen, feel free to screenshot this, but for your convenience I've included the first 314 composite numbers, and notice the 314th is 392. Let's look at Hawking's date of death, March 14th, Pi Day, 2018. Going backwards, 392 days, that brings you to Galileo's birthday, February 15th. 392 days, once again, the 314th composite number. And of course, because Einstein was born on Pi Day, we can use that same calculation. Einstein was born on Pi Day, March 14th, 1879. If we go backwards, 392 days brings you to Galileo's birthday, February 15th. Again, that's 392 days. 392 is the 314th composite number. Number 314 reminds folks of pi because 3.14, yada, yada, yada. Derek connected Higgs to pi. And to Hawking. And to Albert Einstein. So... I talked about the 314th composite number. Now we'll look at the number 314, where that falls on a composite numbers chart. I've listed the composite numbers up to the number 314. Notice it that 314 is the 248th composite number. 248. And if you do this time conversion, what is 248 minutes? 248 minutes into the day looks like 4.08 a.m. on the clock. 4.08, so think about this great American total solar eclipse, the death of Peter Higgs on 4.08, April 8th. Four hours, eight minutes is like 248 minutes. The 248th composite number is 314. And now we see how 314 can connect Peter Higgs, Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and Galileo.